Is Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce an infrastructure phony, or is he fair dinkum? I'm Benjamin Pierce of the Citizens Party. The Bradfield scheme is a huge project that would capture excess water in the northern and eastern parts of Queensland and bring it south and west over the Great Divide. In 2019, Barnaby Joyce aggressively championed the Bradfield scheme. At the time, he was a lowly backbencher. Back then, he was an enthusiastic supporter of the Bradfield scheme, as you can see from his Facebook page. TJ Bradfield, he built your Sydney Harbour Bridge, he built the Story Bridge, he was no goose, and this follows a template uh, basically set out by him. This is so important for our nation. See, these, these are actually answers, not just complaints, answers to your problems. That is what government is supposed to be about. Yet, now that he's become Deputy Prime Minister, Barnaby Joyce has been strangely silent on this question. For the sake of our nation, it is vital and urgent that Mr Joyce regain his voice on this issue. Every Australian leader should support this idea. The Bradfield scheme would take water from where it regularly causes flooding and move it to areas that regularly suffer from drought. The Citizens Party has outlined 17 large-scale water projects that can reduce and control flooding and drought-proof vast areas of our territory. The obstacles to building these projects are not primarily technological, but rather political. The political problems mainly involve the question of funding. To solve these problems, the Citizens Party has drafted legislation to create a national development bank that would provide low-cost, long-term credit, does not require higher taxes, does not increase the budget deficit, and does not involve borrowing from foreign countries. In this video, we will focus on the Bradfield scheme as a good example of the water projects that Australia needs. Australia's greatest engineer, Dr John Bradfield, proposed this idea in 1938. In concept, it's simple. Look at this map of the average annual rainfall of Australia. You can see here in purple, dark blue and blue-green that there is a narrow strip of land along the eastern and northern shores which receives large amounts of rainfall. Now let's look at this map showing some additional features. The dark line indicates the Great Dividing Range. The light purple shows areas in which water flows primarily north and east. These are areas of high flood risk. The darker purple shows areas in which water flows primarily south and west down the western side of the Great Dividing Range. These are areas of low flood risk and frequent drought. Dr Bradfield's original proposal has been modified and updated by Sir Leo Helshier and Sir Frank Moore to create what's called the New Bradfield Scheme. Leo Helshier is credited with the modern economic development of Queensland and Frank Moore is a legendary Queensland business leader. In 2019, Barnaby Joyce did an excellent interview with Sir Leo and Sir Frank and posted it on his Facebook page. The new Bradfield scheme will direct water west and south through a series of tunnels and canals, flowing into the Warrigo River and ultimately replenishing the Murray-Darling Basin. This scheme would have many benefits. It would control and reduce damage from flooding, lessen the erosion of topsoil, make vast areas of fertile land drought-proof and create national wealth by fostering agriculture. The damage due to flooding and drought can cost billions of dollars in a single year. By reducing that damage, the new Bradfield scheme will pay for itself many times over. Current estimates of the cost of this project are approximately $15 billion. Australia can fund the new Bradfield scheme project and many others with a national bank. Here's how it would work. Initial capital for the new national bank can be readily raised from super funds and other Australian investors by offering a government guaranteed return at a competitive rate. $40 billion in initial capital means the national bank would have a $320 billion lending capacity. The bank will make loans at low interest rates to state and local governments, regional authorities 
and to businesses in productive industries. The Citizens Party has written legislation to create this new national bank. All that's needed is for Australians to unite to demand this solution. Please sign our petition calling for the creation of a national bank. Let's send a message to Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce. You said it, Mr Joyce. The people believed you meant it. Now it's time for you to represent it, Mr Deputy Prime Minister. Let's not suffer another day of drought or flooding without taking action to implement the solution. Please sign our petition and tell other people about it. Spoken by Benjamin Pearson, authorised by Craig Isherwood, Citizens Party, Melbourne.